Good afternoon, everybody. Great pleasure to be here, and and and, and you know, great honour to be in, in such distinguished company. So I'm uh, chief executive of Broadway Partners. We we had a uh, we we're very pleased to have a role in in this consortium and um, and to tuck in under the slipstream of Quickline and uh, and Kings. So uh, we 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 addressed the problem that was highlighted in the first slide, which was um, can 5G deliver super fast broadband to remote areas? I mean, it's the fundamental question we're looking to ask. Um, we, we've, we've, we answered it to our satisfaction with a resounding yes. Um, in fact, not just super fast, but, but um, actually up to gigas, gigabit speeds. Um, and it, it has been a successful e exercise in the application of technology, spectrum, and new business models. And I think those three ingredients are key to working out what it is that's going to make rural connectivity take off from here. Uh, and 5G is, is, a, is a key catalyst to that. Um, I'd say the most important part, the most important part of the learning that we've had in this experience has been the, the, the different way we've done, gone about our business. Just the very fact that this has been a collaborative uh, exercise. Um, I mean, you don't get too many mobile operators collaborating with industry to work out how to explore coverage issues. Um, but this has really reset the, the, the game with, with DCMS sponsoring um, collaborative working across industry um, and across the public sector. So. Uh, it, but by that measure, I think, even before we get into detail, this has been a, um, a, a terrific project to be involved in. Uh, so, there we go, that worked, that's good. Um, so, so we, we're, we're looking at two aspects of technology, uh, uh, TV White Space, as Quickline is doing, and also 60 gig uh, mesh networking. So, TV White Space is important because it's, an, it's a new spectrum or a new technology capability that, that it's sort of been around for, for, for a decade or so since the digital TV switchover, it's the spare bit of spectrum that's not being used by the transmission, uh, TV transmission, and it's the white spaces in between those spectrum bands available for general use on a more or less a first come, first serve basis. Because it's low frequency, it's particularly good at non-line of sight situations, so as, as, as Steve and, and Alistair were pointing out, where you've got lots of tree cover, you, that would normally defeat a conventional 5 gigahertz radio, uh, but, but TV white space can just slice through it like a knife through butter. And that was the experience we had. Um, we, we started from a slightly different starting point from Quickline. They, they looked at the long links, and, and with long links, you get, you know, you, you get a lot of, lot of scope for interference and for, and for noise. Uh, we, we tend to deploy TV white space very locally, uh, short links, so one and a half kilometers. Typically, um, if you bond two or three channels of, of uh, the spectrum, we were getting consistent 50, 60, 50 to 60 meg um, uh, service on network. Which is, which is way ahead of, of the NG 30 megabit requirement. So in terms of delivering a capability to deliver NGA slash super fast uh, broadband, uh, TV white space does it, does it absolutely, and absolutely nails it. Um, 30 megabits to the customer. The, the, the middle graph on the, on the left is, uh, is our Inverness uh, facility, and the, the graph on the bottom is on the Mala Kintyre. So um, on a basic performance parameter, uh, we were pretty pleased with our results. The second aspect of our TV white space analysis, which is really ex exploration, was the, the, the thing about, spect uh, about TV white space is you are sharing the spectrum with the TV transmission brigade, and they are very jealous, quite rightly, of, of uh, they get there first, so they get first rights to the spectrum, and we have to make way for them, not the other way around. So the database that drives the allocation of spectrum is an Ofcom database. Um, the propagation models that they use to predict what channels might be available in any in any area. Um, uh, we were testing some of those propagation models, and they could be improved. I'm not the technical guy. I'm not the spectrum analyst, but uh, th there are different spot spectrum propagation models, and and we found that uh, the the the, uh, the the models Ofcom uses, uh, as I say, there's room for improvement. There's also room for um, removing bugs. Um, there was, there's been one or two elements, one or two situations where we found uh, we arrived in a location and found that, that the spectrum availability is actually quite the opposite of what the Ofcom database had predicted. So uh, I interesting process of discovery. It's, it'll all be written out. It is all written up in the technical report. Uh, but this is, let's say, it's not plain sailing. You require a little bit of prior art and a little bit of knowledge and insight to be able to get this emerging new area of shared spectrum to, to work. It's a, it's a non-trivial engineering task. So the other technology aspect we were looking at was uh, 60 gig mesh. Now, we, we, we didn't set out to be testing this. It was partly because um, there was supplier availability issues on the, on the TV white space radio. And to 
be honest, we just weren't getting enough equipment to play with on the TV white space. So we, we asked DCMS, could we sh slightly shift our parameters to look at uh, the use of spectrum that had recently been made available from Ofcom, uh, 60 gigahertz had been recently liberalized for point-to-point uh, -point use. And uh, we worked with, uh, a, 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 with CCS, uh, Cambridge Communication Systems, on their mesh variant on 60 gigahertz radio. And this is, this is really clever for two reasons. One is it gives you give give it speech. This is a little village in, in very remote Wales. It's, the, it's literally the village that BT left behind. I mean, that's, that's how it characterized itself mm. when they were lobbying Monmouthshire Council. I forgive my pronunciation, but it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gem of a village, lots of trees, quite difficult to get to, five kilometers away from the nearest fiber. Um, and and we, we deployed a, a gigabit network in a day. Um, and that's and and it was a not a particularly highly skilled implementation. Um, the the, the, the self-healing, the, the characteristics that Quickline were mentioning, self-healing, um, self-aligning, uh, highly mesh network is um, it makes deployment very much easier than you would expect. And that is my and we got a technical award for it. Five G realized at the five G realized event in March. And we were very proud of that. So that's all I have.